we are headed up into Capitol Reef. We've got a car that is stuck in a wash, got caught in a flash flood. They had to escape out of the sunroof. Really glad the family's okay. First and foremost, family's all right. So that's really good. It looks pretty bad. The pictures are not great. That's where the earth murmur was. Yeah, up around that, because that's the walls of Jericho right there. Yeah, that's right here, this one. Walls of Jericho. Go around that, and then up the mountain right there. But we are going this way. We are going to lock some pups in right now. <laughs> Yeah, they had to camp up on high ground because he was obviously flooding. I so. think I would have went a little higher. If I <laughs> yeah, I think like right up there. Yeah. But, but whatever, that's cool. <laughs> they, they had a, a fire going. A fire going, yeah. Enough to cook a hot dog. It did a lot to get it, try to get it out, I think. Yeah. It had to get out through the sunroof. Alrighty. Intake this side. Sweet. It looks really dry in there. Yeah. Like it's, no mud, it's good, no nothing. No nothing. So we're. Yeah. I think we are alright. It is full of oil. And no water. Not other contaminants, just oil. It's 
So you know what we need? We need Sarah. We need to get Sarah out. Stuff it in the hitch. Get in there, Sarah. <laughs> See if I can pick it straight out and swing it over. Pull over there, jump start it, get it running. I let the battery charge, it died as soon as we took the cable off. So any sensors or something close to the front bumper. Oh no. I think it's the earth. I thought I <laughs> <laughs> Unhook it and see what happens. got stuff around it and it keeps dinging because things oh, are close yeah and it's like no no no, no. back on it and then over two welding leads
It's a deep hole. Deep hole. <laughs> Dang is right. So what we have here is it's not charging for whatever reason, we're not certain right at the moment. But I run two batteries on trail meter, so we're gonna pull one off and put in here so that at least that way it's drivable. We'll hook the cables up and charge this one while we drive, but we can at least get moving to the destination of being out of here. <laughs> being all the way out of here. That, that's the destination, right? Yeah. So Sean's pulling that one. I'm gonna go pull the one off trail meter. I don't know if this one's gonna fit in there. Oh, I'm sure it's just gonna have to sit on the sit back the with back. some jumper cables. Oh, yeah. There you go. Got it. Alrighty. So, Sean's behind me in the car. We had the battery charging on the back of this, while Trail Mater's spare battery or extra battery is in that. We're gonna get moseying through these muddy crossings and then we'll probably have Sean jump in front once we get up here so we know when his battery dies. I don't think the alternator's working. I hope it comes around once we drive it for a bit, but we won't know until we just go. Found mud hole. Oh. There we go. Nice, nice. died so I guess we'll just hook the tow strap to it pull it out or swap the battery one of the two that's <laughs> as far as we can get on a charged battery uh yeah Dang. how many miles do you think that's like five miles <laughs> two miles that was a charged 12 volt battery it's dead Go with the wind. Go with the wind! Yep, yeah, nope. That's all it'll do? Yeah. Nice. Okay.
right, so we set the heck with it, and we just hooked the strap up, and we're pulling it. Yeah, we just want to get moving and get out of here, so. It's not charging, alternator's dead, whatever. We've already killed one battery. The other one's not, I'm sure, not charged yet. We'll get up here, get through some of these washes where we can start making some good time and we'll swap another battery in. It's stuck in drive now. It won't even come out of drive, even if I put it in neutral. Nothing. So, just leave it right where, right there, I guess. Yeah, we didn't make it far with this charged battery. I'm guessing alternator is no good. Something is no good on it. back to the truck I put trail meter on the trailer dropped off to the customer and so they can figure out what they want to do with it but thanks to Sean for going and like always thank you guys for watching you know what I'm just gonna make this as complicated as I possibly can talk about some complex rigging it's working yeah it's not because it's difficult it's just because i'm done are you guys confused yeah <laughs> hope so so that was a very heavy car sitting very high on a slanted deck trailer so it's definitely making the, tra the trailer go a little sway 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 <laughs> and you're trying not to look at it luckily it's just in the mirror as you look back behind you so we're not trying we're just we're that's behind us. That's in the past. We're not worried about that. 